Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and today I am cutting all my hair off. <laughs> Yes, I am really doing it. I have been talking about this for over a year now, I'm sure. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm constantly coming on my Instagram stories, complaining about my hair, saying how much I wanna cut it, posting my inspiration pictures, and you know, just it just never happened. But today it is happening and I'm doing it myself. We are still pretty much in quarantine mode. Texas is starting to open up a little bit, so a few places are starting to have limited you know, availability and stuff like that, but I am so antsy about cutting my hair. I've been talking about it for so long. I literally cannot wait any longer. I don't wanna wait for salons to open up. I don't wanna wait for them to to have availability because they're gonna be super booked up when they do open so I'm doing it myself okay true Raven Elise fashion I'm doing it myself I just don't care anymore I mean I do care I want it to turn out good I want it to be cute the whole reason why I want to do this is because I'm really bored and just not impressed by my hair right now. So this is my hair right now. I straightened it a couple days ago and I've honestly just been wearing it up in that crazy bun like you just saw. But I've been talking about cutting my hair for the longest just because I want something like fun. Something fun, something with a little bit of a wow factor to it, something different fresh new this isn't like oh i need to do a big chop because my hair is damaged and i need to start over and i want to just regrow my hair out like yeah at some point i will probably regrow my hair out but this is not a big chop in that sense this is just because i want the style and i want short hair on purpose the quicker the better i want low maintenance i want quick fast throw some product on it, slick it down, and go, okay? And even with me doing wash and goes right now, I just have a, I don't know, I'm not gonna, I don't have to explain myself. I don't have to explain myself to you guys. I wanted to give you guys some context, but I have my own reasons in my own head, and people always wanna argue with it and say, you know, it's the opposite, and it's this and it's that, but it's my head, y'all. It's my hair. At the end of the day, I don't even need a reason, because it's my hair and I do what I want. Now, I will say that I am hoping that this short haircut is not too much maintenance because I really do want low maintenance and I hope that it looks good on me. I'm not attached to my hair in the sense that like I'm gonna cry if I cut my hair. I actually did cut my hair when I straightened my hair the other day. I cut a little over an inch off of just the bottom and just trying to like trim it, make it look healthier. So it's already looking a little shorter than it was. Um, I'll insert some pictures of kind of like where I was Last year, my hair was completely grown out. At one point, it was super long, but it was super dry at the bottom, so I cut a large amount of it off, and since then, I've kind of just been cutting at it every now and then because I really want to cut it all off, and thus, here we are today. I will put up my inspiration pictures. I also want to give a big shout out to Sayer. I hope I'm saying her name right, and also Aaliyah's face because those are two people that I've been looking at recently who have really like inspired me to just go forward with cutting my hair because they look so cute with their short hair. And with me doing it myself, I really don't know how this is gonna turn out, but good news is when your hair is this short, it grows out really fast. And so if I do need to have a professional, you know, even it out or fix it up, I can always go to the salon and have them fix it. It's not gonna be the end of the world. Also, wigs exist. I have a lot of wigs. I own a lot of wigs. I wear wigs anyway. I intend on continuing to wear wigs as well, and I'm actually excited about the fact that if I don't have much hair, putting on a wig is going to be a breeze. So that's gonna be really exciting as well. Um, and if this turns out horrible, I'll have to put on a wig, I guess, anyway, and that's fine. Right now, it's just very lackluster to me. It's boring, it's plain. This is my natural hair color for the most part, except for a little bit of lightness that's still kind of hanging on at the ends, but all this right here is my natural hair color. It's kind of a mousy brown color. I do wanna dye my hair as well. I'm not gonna be doing that today, but I probably will soon. Once I kind of settle into my short haircut, I'll decide how I wanna dye it. I love blonde. So I'm thinking blonde. I watched some YouTube videos, of course. 
trying to get an idea of how I'm gonna go about this. I'm worried about doing the back of my head. I don't know. I, I tried to watch, I tried to educate myself as much as I could within a 48 hour period. And I thought it would be easier since my hair is straightened, but then of course I plan on wearing it natural and like kind of curly and slicked down and finger waved. So I have to be aware of like how it's gonna shrink up when it when I wet it down. I want it to be cute and I do have a specific style in mind that I think is more like two inches all around and maybe three inches of hair on the top. That's what I'm gonna be going for today. But the guard, the biggest guard I have, and I think the biggest guard that they make really is a one inch. So if I just use this, I'm gonna be going too short. So I think I need to go in with scissors and actually like try to, I don't know, I really don't know. I really, it was so hard. I could not find any videos of people doing this to themselves, probably for a reason, but I've cut my hair myself plenty of times. There's a reason why I own these clippers. In case you guys don't know, I have had a shaved head more than once. Um, I've had an undercut, I've rocked the Cassie, one side shaved. I've had a pixie cut before. I've never had the exact pixie cut that I want, that I'm going for right now. So like this part right here by my ear, obviously I'm gonna have to clean it up around the front of my face. But like if I start by just cutting it like, how many inches is that? Maybe like three? Oh, I don't know. I just don't want it to look super botched. Like I don't, I'm not scared to cut my hair. I'm not scared to have short hair. I'm scared to have botched short hair. I'm scared to have patches in my head. I'm scared to have it just be looking crazy and ugly. Like I want it to be cute, but I want to do it now. Shout out to all the hairstylists watching me do this and just cringing. Already typing comments, I'm sure. Like, no, don't do this, do this. Oh my God, why would you do that? My hair is processed. Like it's still, it's not like virgin, virgin hair towards the ends, so I won't be able to donate it. It's also not that many inches. It would be what, like, if I cut this ponytail off perfectly, eight or nine inches of hair. I know it's something that people always say on hair cutting videos. Like, did you at least donate it? I feel like my hair is not worth donating. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to mention is the nape of my neck, or what people always think is an undercut, which I guess technically is an undercut, in the back of my head. Hair on my neck looks weird, and whenever I wear my hair up, and you can see my hair in any of my regular videos. People always ask me like, do you have an undercut? Did you shave the back of your head? Like what's going on? Are you growing out an undercut? The back of my hair just grows in really weird and ugly. <laughs> like most people, if they put their hair up in a ponytail, it's just gonna like all go in the ponytail and then they're just gonna have like a few little light baby hairs and it's gonna make like a nice little, almost like a little zigzag shape, like for women. But mine, I don't even, it's just, you can just see it for yourself and I hate it and I'm really self-conscious of it. So I would constantly shave it and try to shape it up and line it up to make it look more clean and more normal and just less hairy and less thick and more feminine. And so I would constantly shave it, but recently I've just been letting it grow out, but it's growing out like super uneven. So with this haircut, I'm definitely gonna have to like, do something with the nape of my neck and keep up with it and keep it looking good because it's gonna be very exposed. Here we go. I'm gonna cut from, I guess I should cut from above the rubber band. <laughs> I feel free. Here's my first little ponytail. You guys have been waiting for this moment for so long. Uh, ew, <laughs> ew, <laughs> oh my God, I feel so free though. Even just having it like this, <gasps> wait. You guys, I can give myself like in between hairstyles as I do this, like, cause I can, hold on. Okay, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is my best decision ever. Just get it over with, like stop talking about it and just do it. I've been wanting something fresh. I'm not happy with my hair. 
there's no reason for me to keep my hair if I don't like the way it looks and if it doesn't excite me and I don't like, cause I keep putting polls on Instagram, asking people like, oh, should I cut it? What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's gonna look good on me? Like knowing damn well. <laughs> okay, hairstyle number one. Oh wait, it's kind of cute though. I, I forgot how much I love short hair. It's been so long since I've really had short hair. Back section. Are we getting a good shot of this? Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? And I promise I'm not having a mental breakdown right now. This isn't mental breakdown hair. This is like, like intentional. Intentional hair cutting. <laughs> Ew. I don't really like the way that hair looks just off of my head like this. It's a little disturbing for some reason, but we got three ponytails down. Looking good. <laughs> Those scissors aren't working that good though. What happens if I just like, We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh yeah, the clippers are much more satisfying. I just don't know how I'm going to get from this to those pictures that I showed. I feel like I can cut a bob and I can cut like a fully shaved head, but I don't know how to cut a pixie. If they made two inch and three inch guards, which I don't know, maybe they do. I didn't think they did then I would be good, because then I could just put this guard on and go. But this is a one inch guard. And I don't think I want one inch of hair. I think I want at least two inches of hair, right? This is bringing back memories, y'all. When I used to be reckless with my hair, I was just like shaving and cutting and chopping and dyeing my hair like every month. Just no cares in the world. Shave it off. Okay, there we go. No more mullet, no more rat tail. <laughs> oh, but I love having short hair. Like I feel so much better already. Short hair is just like me, I feel like. It's just me. Either short hair or like a really long, glamorous wig. Like super long hair. It has to be like super long or super short. I don't really like the in-between like just girl next door. Look, it has to be dramatic. Now I don't, okay, now what? Now what? This is a nice punk rock style right here. Let's go, oh, let's go. I'm so excited, I hope it turns out good. I hope I am able to get at least somewhat close to what I want so I don't have to wait so long to like get it fixed at the salon. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, that that's short. That's short. I'm a little shorter than I was trying to do now. Ooh, that's about as short as I need to go right there on this part. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, so I see the hairstylist. They pull the hair out like this and they cut to the shape of the head kind of, right? So like. Oh my God, these scissors are not sharp. Okay, let me just get the rest of the bulk of my hair off. Um, What am I doing? Literally, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. This is like the highest level of don't know what I'm doing I think I've ever showcased in a video period in my whole life. we're not going too short. Like we're at a safe length right now where it can all be fixed. 
it can all be styled and fixed. Oh my God, it feels so good. Like my hair feels so healthy because it's only like the healthiest part of my hair now. Oh, this is so weird. I haven't seen myself like this. <gasps> oh, this is so weird. I have not seen myself like this in so long. I feel 19 again. I got tired of using the scissors. We going full clippers. Invigorating. I'm sorry, this hits different. This hits different. If you've never done it, you need to do it. It hits different. Ew. <laughs> Bruh, I need, I need a, oh, I need a guard. Like, how do I make this all one length? Like, not one length, but like, how do I, how am I gonna even this out? I, uh, do they make two inch guards? I should have Googled that two inch and three inch guards. I'm sure they exist. Now for the front, I'm kind of going for it because no, I'm gonna do it a little bit longer, but I don't want like a bang necessarily. I want more like a full pixie where it's like almost all one length all the way around and like the top and the front is short too. But I want like a little bit of length to where I can like have a nice side part finger wave, you know? and do like little waves a little bit coming down my forehead, but like not like a bang. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this part longer, like way longer, just in case, cause I don't know. Oops. Okay, you guys. <laughs> that was the last major ponytail. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major ponytails that I, just cut off of my head. It's gone. It's done. Here's my hair. There's more hair on the floor, but this is the majority of it. And I know I look ugly right now, okay? Some of you guys out in the audience are probably like, girl, why would you do that? You look ugly. But you gotta wait. You gotta wait and see the intended vision. Am I going to get to the finished product today? I don't know. You like my technique? <laughs> Cause the scissors don't work right. Oh my God, it's really short right here though. Uh, I might've gone a little shorter than I meant to in some areas. Ew, I just keep saying ew because I hate the way that this is like curving around my ears right now. I feel like a horse girl, like the girl in fifth grade who loved horses. go to is gonna be like laughing at me when they look at what I've done. They're gonna be like, what? It's so choppy.
All right, y'all, it is extremely choppy and not <laughs> properly done at all, but it's off. I tried my best to even it out. I really don't understand what the back is looking like. I left the front long to play it safe for now. It, it's starting to look like a haircut. Give me some credit. It's looking like a haircut. I would never wear it like this. This looks like anime. Um, there's some, <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Uh, this side, I feel like it turned out better, which is good because I part my hair like this. And right now with it straight, it's enough to kind of like tuck behind my ear and like smooth it down kind of. And then on this side, it's like a little bit of a bang. <laughs> okay, I feel like I should stop cutting and wash my hair and just start to see how it's really gonna look once it curls up and just try to start like styling it and make it look like something presentable from here because I feel like if I keep cutting more and more off, I'm just gonna end up totally completely bald. I have no hair, I have no hair. This is the longest part of my hair now, right at the top, a little feather at the top of my head and that is it. It's gone, I did it and I feel free. Still a little bit nervous about the final product, but I feel free. I feel like we're headed in the right direction. And if all else fails, maybe I will just do one inch of hair all the way around. I don't know if I really lose my mind. We're gonna see how we end up. <laughs>